in the past approximately two months ago I have published this circuit and I want to pay uh, a new some at attention to it uh, because it worked very good and it worked for approximately five months constantly with the help of only two batteries uh, alkaline batteries so uh, it could be interesting to show it again and perhaps give some more uh, details about how the circuit was made. It flashes now here on a high flashing rate and that's done by using uh, this capacitor of approximately one microfarad. I will tell more about it. So let me switch on the lights to show the schematic etc etc. More lights Anyway, the circuit is here. And this is, say, the electronic circuit. This is the electronic circuit. Here, two transistor flasher, uh, one uh, NPN transistor, one PMP transistor, only one capacitor here. Only one resistor here and one light emitting diode. That light emitting diode must be uh, a clear uh, red or green diode. And it works on two carbon zinc batteries. That was my uh, first ID, but uh, it worked on, say, general purpose alkaline batteries. Uh, that was the real situation and it worked surely between 10 March and now 11 um, June, July, July. So that's quite a long time uh, uh, when you consider the energy content of two simple batteries. Together they make 3 volts and here is that circuit again. Cx is the capacitor that sets the flash frequency. Of course, also the one mega ohm resistor sets the flash frequency. Has to do. They work together anyway. Uh, you can use one microfarad, five microfarad, ten microfarad. With ten microfarad, the flash ratio is low. And I will try to demonstrate that. And here is how the circuit was made. And because this is a beginner's uh, video, uh, I've say drawn this completely out. And here it is a top view, so not a backside view. And um, the most important thing when you want to make such a circuit in this way. Uh, study the data sheet and study the the how where is the emitter where is the base and where is the collector and for both transistors the BC547B NPN silicon and the BC557 that's PMP silicon both have an amplification factor of 300 that's that's impossible and uh, not impossible that that is uh, <laughs> The best thing, 300 could also be 250, but anyway, uh, here are the pin connections. And when you look, say, for instance, here to the top of these two transistors, um, and then look at the back side here, uh, there is a kind of mirror situation and that's important to tell and of course I know that there, there are nowadays 2022 very very sophisticated computer programs um, that can calculate all the wirings when you give in say a certain electronic circuit uh, 
compliments for that. No problems with that. But uh, for say beginner, it's it's a good idea to know to see the say the top side of the circuit here. This is the top side. With all the, the the two transistors oriented in the proper way, and then the back side, and this is the back side. Uh, of course, uh, well, when you see this, uh, could be anything. Anyway, uh, that also indicates, say, the kind of problem that you can. Uh, 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 feel, see, etc, etc. When you flip the circuit here and look at the, the front side and look at the back side. So that's one of the aims of my video, this video, beginner's video, to show uh, what can happen. Anyway, you have to be sharp. When you say solder in all kinds of components and look at the front side and look at the back side, etc., etc., but of course, there's a lot of help nowadays uh, with computer aided design of such a circuit, and this is, of course, the most simple circuit that you can find. I don't want to uh, say dig too deep into that anyway. Let's go back to the schematic. And here again what I've told about the, the top view, etc, etc. And here that this flasher worked very, very well on two fresh batteries. Here the pin connections, etc. etc. And here the back side again. And well, I have already talked about that. Uh, looking at the top, the upper side of the breadboard, or not the breadboard, but the, the, the way that such a circuit can be can be made in a final way. And the back side. Um, interesting, perhaps, kind of guide is that this transistor has here a flat side and also here a flat side. And go to the data sheets on the World Wide Web. You can surely find everything necessary to develop such a circuit and of course also much more complicated circuits. This is also a way how you can mount the transistor. This is the dead bug method, emitter based collector and I often use this kind of uh, mounting of transistors. You can see that in many videos on my YouTube channel. Uh, not always a dead bug, by the way. I use in general a brass nails. Um, anyway, it resembles a, in a kind of way the dead bug method. And that dead bug method is more or less a common, a common way when you want to make a high frequent, real high frequency uh, transistor circuits or VHF high frequency transistor circuits or even UHF. Um, often that method is used. Anyway, I cannot go into too much details. I only wanted to tell here about this very simple circuit. Uh, well, pen over some watts and let's let's look to the how the circuit was made in real and how you can change the flash ratio by changing the um, capacitor here that does the job. 
the value of that capacitor is crucial for uh, how much flashes you will see every second. Uh, now I have in this circuit a 10 microfarad capacitor here. That 10 microfarad capacitor has a series capacitor of approximately 1 microfarad. As far as I know, or yes, it's 1 microfarad. So together they form a capacitor of less than uh, 1 microfarad. That means that the flash ratio is high. You can see it here. But of course, when I shortcut that one microfarad cap series capacitor, we go to a situation where the 10 microfarad capacitor uh, is completely active. And I want to do that now. Hope it could be visible here. Crocodile clip. I short out now that one microfarad capacitor and that means that we see here a very fierce flash every say second. That means that now at this moment the 10 microfarad capacitor is completely active in combination with the 1 mega ohm resistor so a fierce flash and I'm more or less sure that this flash will be given out during say five months or so with two fresh batteries. And they are here. Thanks for watching. I think I've told everything. Here my workbench again.